So now you guys are always leaving questions asking me how you can mod certain things within the game. Obviously a lot of the questions are very difficult to answer like by just replying. So what I'm going to do is once we hit 1000 subscribers then I'm going to make a video going through each question that people ask me showing you how you can do that in the game. So if that's something that you're interested in then make sure you're subscribed to the channel. So in this tutorial we're going to talk about interest groups. Now on the right here this is the games files. Uh, you can see these are all the current interest groups that are currently in the game. But how do you create your own? Well, the first thing you want to do is set up your mod. Now, obviously you can also add this to a mod if you already have one. So on the left here, we have the mod, which is in the Victoria Free mod folder. And then it'll just be your mod name, common. And then you create a folder called interest groups because you never want to edit the actual games files. So what I'm going to do is just copy one of these over. It doesn't matter which one. And then I'm going to rename this. I'm just going to name it my interest group. Now, once we open that file, you'll be able to see everything that a interest group needs to build it up. So what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to run through each of these things and just tell you what they do. So the first thing you're going to want to do is change this name up here to yours. So we're going to call this my interest group. And now your color will be the color of the interest group. Now, obviously, you can just Google that and try and find a color that you like and put that in there. Now, your texture will be the icon, which we've dealt with many times in these tutorials. And it shows you where that is located in the GFX folder. So if you go to GFX interface icons, IG icons, then you have to put your icon in there. You will change this name here to whatever you call your DDS file. So we will just do that. Now this layer part here, so it basically helps the game determine which visual elements or effects should be applied uh, to your particular interest group. And obviously this will just be a preset within the game. Uh, you don't actually need this, but if you want to have that within your interest group, Obviously look for the others, you know, and see what ones there are and see what ones you want to use. Now the index is just the, the number that the game identifies it with. So if you have a look, all the different interest groups will have a different index number. Now obviously you can have an index number, just make sure that the game doesn't have that index number already within it. But again, you, you don't really need this, it's not really necessary. Now your ideologies, you will be able to find them within the ideologies folder in here. So if you have a look through these, you will be able to see all the different ideologies. Then you can basically pick three, you know, that your interest group are in favor of. So all you would do is you would just copy this bit of code here to any of the ideologies, and then you would just paste it like in here. I think that's the same one, right? Yeah, you just paste it in there, just copy over. Now this part is quite important because it really depends what you want to do with this interest group. So always enabled, yes, that obviously means that it's always enabled. So this will be available to every country. Now let's say you had a custom country or you know you was just playing another country and you wanted this interest group to just be your country and no other country. Then what you would have to do is you'd have to type exists equals C, then the two dots, and then your country code, right? So whatever the three letter country code of your country is, then you will put it in here. So if it was say Great Britain, it'd be like that, right? If it was Russia, then it'd be like that. And then after it exists, you will then put this equals C, the two dots, and then the same again. And then what that basically tells the game is that if this country exists within the game, then apply it to that country. Okay, so this will apply to that country there. Now, if you wanted multiple countries, but not every country, then you can use the or command. So you just put or equals, then the bracket. And then what you would do is you do that for both of these. And then once you do the or command, then you can just keep pasting countries in, right? So, you know, this could be uh, Britain, for example. You just have to make sure that you do an exists and this for each individual one. And then that means either of these countries will have this interest group, you know, if they are actually in the game. Now, the traits are similar to the ideologies. If you want to find them, you just go to interest group traits and then you will see they're all in here. So you can create your own or you can just copy these up here. And then that will mean that's the traits that your interest group has. I think once you hit like a certain criteria within the game, they activate. Now where it says on enable, these are special actions that are taken once your interest group becomes active. So again, you know, you can look through the others if you want to use any of these. They're quite complex, so I'm not gonna go too much into them today. But if you're not too worried about them, you know, you don't need them. You can just take those out. And then on disable is the same as on able, but it just means once your interest group is uh, disabled, then you will have those actions taken. And this part here where it says on character IG membership, this defines what happens when a character becomes a member of this interest group. Now within pop potential, this just sets conditions uh, for which certain pops can potentially support or be a part of your interest group. So currently we have these like three types of pops 
that can actually support this interest group. There are other conditions that you can add, like literacy rate. And this will mean that only POPs with a literacy rate uh, greater than 25% can join. So if, if they're under 25%, then that means they can't support this interest group. And this POP weight just determines how likely, you know, each type of POP is to support this interest group. So you see here, we've got capitalists, engineers, and shopkeepers. Now, if you look, we've got the same here as well. And then what you're doing is you're setting a value of how likely each of these pops is to support it. So as you can see here, there's more chance of capitalists supporting this interest group. But obviously you can have these numbers, whatever you like. Obviously just make sure that, you know, these match these. Now the weight of the monarch is basically the likelihood of a monarch being affiliated with your interest group. Other things that you can use, you can use commander weight. Obviously that's the likelihood of commanders being affiliated with your interest group. And you have noble chance, which is the probability of nobles being members of your interest group. Now you have female commander chance, which is the probability of your commanders being female. Now what you have to remember with this one is that you will have to have the certain laws. So you would basically set it up like that. So if they have this law, then add 0.1 value. If they have this law, add value. So you would start with a value as well like this. And then obviously if they have this law, you can add more value to that. And then the commander leader chance just gives the probability of if a commander will take over leadership, uh, if there's a leadership change within your interest group. And that's pretty much it. Like I say, go through the other interest groups, you know, have a look what they got. But what I've told you there, that should pretty much cover everything. And also any new text that you add, make sure that you create a localization file for it. Otherwise it won't display in game like it, it will display like that. But if you create a localization file for it, then it will say whatever you want it to say.